Hello, all my lovely Scorpios. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Hello, Wanda, if you are watching. <laughs> all right, it's time to do your love read for September 1st through the 15th of 2020. Let's see what love energies we have hmm? for that time period. Um, hello to anyone who's new. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. Welcome back to anyone who is returning into my tribe. What is up, my tribe? Thank you all for joining the tribe and supporting me. I so appreciate it. Very, very much. Um, this is going to be a general read, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So just keep that in mind. But just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Now this is, if I didn't say, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So if this doesn't resonate for you, uh, many times your other placements in your chart can resonate. So check those out. And even if it does resonate, you can get uh, much, <coughs> a lot of information sometimes from the other placements in your chart. Especially Venus for love. So check those out. All right, Scorpio, are we ready? Let's see. Let's see what we got going here. Eight of Wands. Got that for the Pisces, if you're dealing with the Pisces. Having some sort of, having communication. Something's moving along very well here. Let's see what we have here. The Four of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Moving away from the hurt. It's a time to celebrate. Working through that maybe not so good feeling about love on the inside and you're ready to celebrate now if you have met somebody first of all this is twin flame card four of wands 11 11 so for anyone who's on twin flame journey this could be possible union with your twin doesn't necessarily mean that but it could mean that but the four of wands is all about celebration it's like being happy with the way things are going and it's just a good time so you're walking away from that hurt let's see what else we have the hanged man and the five of pentacles Somebody else had the Five of Pentacles and the Hangman, but I can't remember who now. Um, just been kind of taking it as it comes, you know? You were in a period of, I think, a down period where you've had some loss. Maybe someone left you out in the cold. Um, I'm hearing the possibility of depression. Feeling really down. But I think, and what Spirit is saying here, if you haven't worked through this, and we'll see what the next section is, you have the key to work yourself through this, Okay. There's a light shining on you. All you need to do is look up and turn around. and Or look, and, and instead of having your head down and being in the pity party, they call this the pity party, um, it's being down and having feeling some sort of loss. You have the key to get yourself out of that. So you may be in limbo right now, but hang in there. Hang in there because um, it's it's coming. If it, if it isn't there, it's coming. Now, this is challenges, possible obstacles, just things you may need to work through. Mm -mm -mm. The devil could be dealing with a Capricorn. Devil card is toxicity here. Ace of Wands. Okay. So with the Ace of Wands, is a new beginning. You're inspired. You've been inspired somehow to get away from toxic energy from someone else or maybe your own toxic energy. Whatever that may be. Again, take it as it resonates. But you've been inspired and you want a new beginning. So again, walking away from the hurt. Whatever toxic behavior you have had in the past or dealt with, whether it's your own or it's someone else or other people, it's um, time to move away from that. But you could be dealing with the Capricorn. That's all I have so far, as far as zodiac signs. Doesn't a Ten of Cups moving forward? If I point those out, though, it doesn't mean that's who you have to be dealing with. And the Nine of Wands. So guess what? You were going to give up on love. You were ready to give up on love. You're like, you know what? I just can't do this anymore. But what Spirit is saying here is, don't give up. You're almost there. Either you're going to meet somebody. Or you've met somebody and you're on the right path. Your communication. It's, it's going to be moving ahead at a very, very good pace. Pardon my alarm, Scorpio. It's still timed on this damn thing. Four of Wands, Ten of Swords. I don't know what to do about it. And I, I, it's frustrating me very badly. To the point I almost stopped doing the readings. I really don't want to do that, though. So, you know. <laughs> um, I need a laptop. It's, it's, it's the end of stories. I need a laptop and I can't afford it. So, it's, it's frustrating. Well, this card wanted to come out, too. So, okay, we'll take that in a minute. Five of Swords here. This is, hmm, you're in your thoughts and you're thinking that you've won the battle. However, you may have left people wounded in the past. And you got to be careful when you have that kind of energy because sometimes that can come to bite you in the ass. That's kind of combative energy. That is, this is the end of the cycle. So, that's a good thing the world card is here because that came out. 
because I'm hearing that you're no longer wanting to be in that combative uh, state of mind where you just kind of do what you want to do, say what I want to say, and screw the rest of you. Fuck the rest of you. You know, I don't care if I hurt you or not. That's kind of the end of that because that's not the best attitude to have. So you here at this point, um, Scorpio, you need to choose which path you want to take because you don't want to get in a relationship with some of that excess baggage with you that may carry into a relationship, okay? Just going to say that for those that may resonate, it may not be all of you, the hanged man and the five of pentacles, the emperor, taking control of your own life, your own love situation, how you handle things, which is a good thing. You've taken time to meditate, or you may need to do this. Take some time to meditate, work through any heartache, heartbreak you have had, and find your truth. That's what the, the, four, the four of swords is all about. Think about what it is that you want in if you've met somebody with this person or your next relationship okay it's a new cycle though one cycle has ended this is a new one well this cat flipped up in the air oh there it is there's that beautiful high priestess tap into your spiritual side tap into your intuition what is your intuition telling you what is your voice inside of you telling you or spirit may be trying to talk to you oh spirit saying cut out that nasty behavior just cut it out Cut the people out of your life that are no longer serving you, that may be toxic to you, or cut out that nasty behavior that you may be um, holding on to. Okay? Did that resonate? Two cards popped here. And when you get rid of that nasty energy, guess what? You open up space to manifest what you want. You have all the tools, something stable, someone that communicates, someone who's emotional, um, same level as you, someone with the passion. And the judgment card, this is very appropriate. This is the karma card. So if you conduct yourself in a way that you've treated people the best that you, you've been diplomatic and you've, you've been emotionally mature and you haven't said any nasty words and you've just dealt with things, this is the judgment card. So you look back on your life and see how you have learned from your past. And um, this is, you know, judgment day. So you don't want to have any bad karma because that, that's going to follow you no matter what, what you do, whether it's a relationship or not. There's that emotional maturity. Just be sure that if, you know, Scorpios, I know that you can have hot tempers, we're water signs, we're emotional, but Scorpios can get very heated um, and sting. So be careful with that, Scorpio, okay? Knight of Pentacles, just take it slow. Take it slow and easy. If you feel yourself getting heated, step away. That's emotional maturity. Step away, okay? So you can have this. Manifesting what you want. You can manifest what you want. You can take control of your life. It's the end of that cycle. Communicate what you want. If you're talking to somebody, communicate what you want, okay? All right, my beautiful Scorpios, I'm checking the time. This is what I have for you. If this resonated for you, I hope it helped you in some way. If it did resonate and or you like these readings, if you want me to continue doing them, regardless of my damn alarm and the uh, space on the phone, um, I mean, they don't have to be lengthy readings, but I would like to have a little more time. That would be nice. Uh, but if you like these, give me a thumbs up so I know, because otherwise I may just start backing off on the readings. And I don't want to do that, but I may have to, because I can't figure this out. And I, I can't really do this with a laptop. And unfortunately...